Welcome back witches and wizards to another magical crafting video with me, the Greg Who Lived. Now, in my previous videos, I've shown you how to make your very own Hogwarts house tie and your very own magic wand. So I think we're all pretty set for Hogwarts. But that got me thinking, what about if we made some decorations that can turn it your home into Hogwarts when you're watching Harry Potter with friends and family? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your very own Harry Potter bunting and your very own sorting hat. So what are you waiting for? Let's get creative. To make your own sorting hat and bunting, you will need. Let's begin with the sorting hat and the following materials. Brown paper or parcel paper, a pair of scissors, and don't forget to ask an adult wizard if you need any help. A glue stick or another type of clear drying glue, a pencil and a ruler, masking tape or sticky tape, a marker pen or other colouring materials. I'm adding detail with pen, but you can use whichever you prefer. And lastly, some string or a shoelace to help you draw a curve. Step one is to cut out your brown paper. Now I just guessed roughly how much I would need and then cut some from the roll. Step two is to cut out some string and tie it to your pencil. The longer the string, the taller the hat. Step three is to draw out an arc using your pencil and then add diagonal lines. I decided to draw from the corner and then added the lines as you see here. Step four is to draw out a circle for the brim of your hat. Now I used the spare space that was on my paper and used the string at about half the distance to go all the way around and create a circle. Step five is to cut out your two pattern pieces. Now for this, I'm just using the scissors, but remember, if you need an adult witch or wizard's help, just ask, and don't forget to put your rubbish in the bin. Step six is to fold the straight edge of your design in half and then cut away the excess. This is the diagonal line which we drew earlier. And once we get rid of this extra bit, we have a top part of our hat. Step seven is to draw an arc at the base of your hat and then to fill it in with triangles. Now, you don't need to be very neat with this, but make sure that the triangles are quite close together. Step eight is to cut out the triangles you've just drawn. Now, this might take a little while, but you just need to cut out the triangle sections, as this will help us stick our two bits of paper together. Step nine is to draw on the sorting hat's face. Now, I use this middle mark to know exactly where I can put each side of the expression of the sorting hat. So I started with some eyes and then roughly drew on a mouth and then began adding patches for the fabric and all the bits that are sewn onto the sorting hat because he's so old. And then to add texture, I crumpled up the brown paper and then uncrumpled it. And there we have a nice texture of a very tatty and ancient hat. Step 10 is to stick your hat together. Now to do this, all you need to do is to stick some glue along one edge of the hat. Then we fold the hat in on itself and stick the two edges together. Now, this can be a little bit tricky, but if you hold the paper down until the glue has dried, it should glue together nice and firmly, as you can see here. To strengthen it, I just add a tiny bit of masking tape to ensure it all sticks together and stays strong. Step 11 is to draw around your hat onto the brim. Now, we're just gonna draw around the section that you've already made and you should get a rough circle shape. Then you just need to neaten it up and then we cut it out. Now I decided to poke a pencil into the paper which gave me a hole and then I could cut the inner circle out. Step 12 is to glue both parts of your hat together. So to do this I just put some glue around the inside of the brim. Then I put this over the top of my middle section and then glue the brim down onto the triangles that we cut out earlier. Again, I've added some masking tape just to keep it nice and secure. And lastly, step 13 is to draw some details on the brim of the hat. Now I just followed in some of the patches I'd already drawn and then went round in marker pen to add some detail into certain sections like the face. This gives the hat a nice stern expression. And there we have it, our sorting hat finished. Now we've finished the sorting hat, let's move on to some bunting. And for this, you will need the following. 
A4 paper or card in the colours of your choice. I've gone for Hufflepuff yellow, Gryffindor red, Ravenclaw blue and Slytherin green. Or why not colour in your own design? A pair of scissors. A glue stick or another type of clear drying glue. A pencil and a ruler. Marker pens, pencils, paint or other colouring materials. Whichever are your favourite. And lastly, string, ribbons, yarn or cotton to hang up your bunting. Step one is to create a stencil for your bunting. Now I created mine in these triangle shapes so I could fit two on one page of A4, but you can do whichever size you like. Don't forget to leave the top as we need this to stick them together. Step two is to draw out your bunting shapes using your stencil. Now, as I said before, I did it so that I could fit two of these triangles onto each section of my A4 card. And I did this by just drawing on the outside of my stencil. And with a bit of magic, we have them drawn out. Step three is to cut out your triangles using your scissors. Once again, remember, if you do need any help, please ask the assistance of any witches and wizards who will kindly help you. Step four is to draw your fold lines. Now to do this, I'm gonna match up between the two corner points like so, and go back and forth with my pencil. Step five is to then fold your triangles, and we're gonna do this using the line we just created, and we should be able to get a nice crisp fold. Make sure you fold this firmly, and if we flip it over, we can see we now have our bunting triangles. Step six is to then add your designs. Now, for my first one, I decided to go quite simple with just a lightning bolt, because obviously that's Harry's scar and what he's famous for, and I then coloured it in using a marker pen. I decided to go for a few different designs, as you can see here. So we have some lightning bolts, character initials, I also did a magic wand, my own Hogwarts crest, and a golden snitch. Step seven is to measure and cut your string. Now to do this, I did it quite roughly, and I just measured approximately the size of however many triangles I had. Don't forget to add an extra bit so you can stick it and hang it up. And finally, step number eight is to glue your triangles down over your string. Try to make sure they're as even as possible and to push down firmly on the card so that it sticks neatly together. And there we have it, our finished Harry Potter bunting, our brown paper sorting hat. And so here we have our very own Harry Potter bunting and our very own sorting hat. Now, don't forget you can log on to the wizardingworld.com website and take the sorting hat quiz to find out exactly which Hogwarts house you are in. So, will it be Hufflepuff? Will it be Ravenclaw? Will it be Gryffindor? Or could it be Slytherin? I am a Ravenclaw, but let's just check. Hmm, very creative. Must be Ravenclaw. Phew, I'm glad that I'm definitely a Ravenclaw. Don't forget, with all of these crafts, you can be as creative and as inventive as you want. If you would prefer something a bit softer than the bunting here, you can follow step by step on the Wizarding World website of making your very own pom-pom alternative. And they're very easy to make in a few simple steps. What is brilliant about some of the crafts that I've created is they all use paper and card which means they're easy to recycle, so make sure you do recycle them once you're finished with them. I really hope these wizarding crafts give you some extra magic while you celebrate Harry Potter at home. And don't forget, there are new chapters of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone as we continue Harry's first year adventures at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. You can join the Harry Potter fan club at wizardingworld.com for more fun, games and trivia.